co-function identity application determine an exact value of b such that cosecant 6b plus pi over 8 equals to secant of 2b minus pi over 8. Now this is an application of co-function identity. Let's first try to understand after all what is co-function identity. Okay. Now let me do it on the right side of this page and let's start with the very basics. Right? Consider this coordinate plane. Right? And I'm just taking care of the first quadrant, that's my first quadrant, and let's consider um, our function. Uh, let's consider a triangle here, right triangle, formed by this ray. Now, okay, for simplicity, I've taken a segment uh, starting with origin, and that makes an angle. And let's say this angle is theta for us, correct? Now, you will notice that if I drop a perpendicular from here, then, and if this point is general point x and y, in that case, from origin to this point, the adjacent side will be x, and the opposite side will be y, correct? So, so that forms this basic acute angle triangle. Now, let us consider moving this terminal arm counterclockwise, so that we reach a point where the angle is not theta but pi by 2 minus theta. So let's say that is our point where we get acute angle this one from here to here as pi by 2 minus theta. Right? When that is pi by 2 minus theta that means this angle for us is theta. Right? Now if you analyze these two triangles one with angle theta the other one with pi by 2 minus let me draw this line for the other triangle you will notice that the length of adjacent side becomes the length of opposite side or in a way cos changes to sine or the length of opposite side becomes the length of adjacent side or sign changes to cos. Do you see? Sine and cos and cos and sine are co-functions. So that is a very very important observation here. So what we notice here is that cos of pi by 2 minus theta becomes equals to sine theta and similarly sine of pi by 2 minus theta becomes cos of theta. Now cos and sine are co-function and they interchange. When sine changes to cos and cos changes to sine, for a triangle in which the primary angle is theta and pi by 2 minus theta, then their reciprocals will also change, right? That means that cosecant pi by 2 minus theta becomes secant theta. Is that okay? So that, that, is, that is how we can see it. Or we could write the other way also. That means secant pi by 2 minus theta is equals to cosecant theta, right? Same is true for tan theta also. So tan pi by 2 minus theta is equals to cotangent theta. These are all co-function identities, right? So they are well known by this name co-function because tan, cot, cosecant, secant, sine and cos are all co-function trigonometric identities and they are only equal if the difference in their angle is pi by 2 it could be either way so if the difference in the angle is pi by 2 then they are equal correct now we'll use this property here so what do we notice we notice that we have something in secant and something in we have something in cosecant and we have something in secant and they are equal they we know now is equal they are equal only if there is a relation existing between them and that is their angles are in a difference of pi by 2 correct and therefore we can write from here that this angle should be pi by 2 minus this angle so for example if this angle is theta then that angle 
should be pi by 2 minus theta, right? In that case, cosecant becomes secant. Do you understand? So we'll use this property to find the value of B. Do you see? Now we have only one variable to solve. And from here, let's write down that this angle, 2B minus pi by 8, should be equal to pi by 2 minus theta. And that is our theta minus, let me write this theta as 6B plus pi by 8. I hope that's absolutely clear, right? So that is the application of a co-function identity. Now here we have only one variable. It's a matter of solving this variable. So let's bring the pi terms on the right side and the variable on the left. So we we'll, we get 2b. Let me do it in two steps. Let me first open this bracket. Minus pi by 8 equals to pi by 2 minus 6b minus pi by 8. Now minus pi by 8 minus pi by 0. So we get 2b and let's bring this here. So we get 6b plus 2b equals to pi by 8, pi by 2, right? Now let's see, pi by 8 and pi by 8 cancels, correct? So that means we have 8b equals to pi by 2 or b equals to pi by 16. And that is the value of b we are looking for. It's always a good idea to check our solution, right? So let's try to check it now. So check means let's find the value of cosecant and secant with b as pi by 16, okay? So, okay. so what we will do is on the left side we'll check cosecant x. So we can write cosecant is 6b plus pi by, and b is pi by 16. So that's 6 times pi by 16 plus pi by 8, right? And that means this is equal to cosecant of, so this is pi by 8 plus pi by 8, that is, correct? Okay? So because b is pi by 16, so we can simplify this and this goes, <coughs> you can divide both by 2, so get 3 pi by 8, sorry. Okay, let's do it here. Cosecant is, so when I divide by 2, <coughs> then I get 3 pi by 8, plus pi by 8, right? Which is cosecant of 3 plus 1, 4 pi by 8, 4 pi by 8, right? Which is cosecant of pi by 2. Now, cosecant of pi by 2 is equal to 1. So we get left side as 1. Now let's try to do what is the right side. Now I'm really running out of space here. So, so let's do our math first, that is find out what is 2b minus pi by 8 for b equals to pi by 16 and then we'll find secant of that, correct? So we have 2 times, so we have 2 times b is pi over 16, pi over 16 minus pi by 8. So that becomes pi by 8 minus pi by 8 which is 0. Now what is secant of 0? Secant of 0 is also 1. See, both left side and right side are equal. So that is that is the check. And therefore, we can conclude that our answer is that b is equal to pi by 16. Now, this is a very good thinking and application problem. I would like you to go through this video once again and understand the concepts. So, first concept is what are co-function identities, right? Many students find it very confusing. So I've done it for quadrant one. You can try these for other quadrants also, right? Remember the cast rule, correct? So that plays a significant role when you move from quadrant one to other quadrants, right? So take that into account while writing these identities. And then we just did application of the identity and got our result. You can also try doing the other way, that is pi by 2 minus this theta equals to that theta. So that should also yield the same result. So try it out and let me know. Thank you and all the best.